Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your mid-June 2017 tarot reading. So the first thing out of the deck here is uh, I feel like there might have been some very recent disputes between you and either a business uh, a relationship partner, like business partner, or a relationship partner. Okay, so uh, romantic or platonic and business. Um, what I feel here is there is a discrepancy here. There, there's something here indicating to me um, either discussions about somebody stepping out of the relationship, talking about to resolve conflict regarding accusations about somebody stepping out of a relationship or infidelity or just jealousy overall. I feel like this situation, if it's not hashed out now, it's going to come back up again in the August time frame. So it's very pertinent that you and your partner, your business partner or your relationship partner tries to settle the score once and for all and you know don't dr uh, drag this back up in about two months time because I feel like um, the hostilities are still a little bit ripe and I feel that you, you or your partner, I feel like it's your partner hasn't really moved away from it. Okay. I feel like for some of you, you're dealing with a partner that has a lot of, uh, that has a, um, a, they're, they're saying like a very shady past and a shady past basically can mean they've had a lot of, you know, um, indiscretions in their past. They've done a lot of dubious things or they've had a, a lot of hardships in their past and they might have trust issues. So depending on which way the partner lies, it can be both too. Just make sure that if somebody is having trust issues or has had a history of trust issues, you want to do whatever you can to be as transparent with your partner so that these problems, the, the, the problems regarding jealousies, you know, don't creep up again. So I feel almost like somebody is out having fun and the other person feels insecure and there's accusations of cheating and things like that when you're just innocently going out and having fun. And then likewise, I feel like somebody is like emotionally very repressed. And so when important issues come up and needs to be addressed, the other person just shuts down. And so finding a way to kind of like, um, I guess, call the, the answers out of them, finding a way to kind of like calm them, soothe them, appease them so that they feel safer with you or you likewise feel safer with them so that you both can, can really talk about these things and, you know, have that soulful, heartfelt communication and get over, resolve these issues once and for all, okay? That's really important. In the work environment, what I'm sensing is there is a situation where you're just like, I have to, um, you know, stay cool, calm, and collected about this. So I feel like some of you, there might have been some recent transitions, uh, restructuring, um, reformulating, um, new people being added to a work environment. There, there's something recent in your work environment where you feel like nothing is really resolved satisfactorily where you feel like there's still problems. Why aren't we addressing the problems? And, um, I'm sensing that some of you felt a little bit slighted. Some of you felt like it could have been handled differently. It could have been, you know, done a lot more efficiently. And for some reason, the people that you were working with or the people that were overseeing were just like, no, they wanted to do things their way, even though it's not the most productive, it's not the most efficient, it's probably not the smartest way. And so they, they kind of like brush you aside. And I feel some of you are feeling jilted. Um, some of you are also feeling kind of like you did not get the last word in. So my advice here is, um, if they're doing something that you feel, oh, that's not going to work. It's going to unravel. It's going to like blow up in their face. I do sense in about three months time, they're going to come to that conclusion. So you're just ahead of the curve. And in about three months time, there is going to be another restructuring, another reformulating. And by that time, you're going to get that, you know, I told you so. So you're going to get the last laugh, okay? Um, the other thing I'm feeling here is um, your housing situation. And this keeps coming up for you, um, Taurus. I, I don't know what's going on. But housing situation, um, find a place that is stable. Find a place where you can be on your own so not that you're not dealing with, you know, drama and riffraff, okay? So find a safe place, a stable place. If you have to dish out a little bit of income for it, as long as you feel safe and stable and as, as long as you feel, like, comfortable because your home is your haven, 
find a place where you can be alone. And I feel that you have so many people around you. It's not conducive for alone time. It's not conducive for de-stressing. There's so much like chaos I feel happening in the household, um, the, the housing environment. So work that out, Taurus. It keeps showing up month after month. And I feel like, you know, if you don't do anything about it, it's just going to sh keep showing up in my cards. So if you can find a way to fix that, uh, please do. <laughs> uh, the last thing that I want to end this on here is, um, you know, you are a really, really effective communicator. And I feel like I mentioned before in the monthly reading, when you talk, you have evidence, you have knowledge, you have concrete, you know, things to back it up. And um, so your communication is really not the problem. If you're telling somebody, you know, like, you should do this because blah, 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 A, B, C, and they're not really listening. They're just not ready. It has nothing to do with your ability to, to, to talk to them. So you can, you can talk until you're blue in the face. You can try to lecture and, um, and, and you can try to lecture as much as you want. If the other person is not ready, they're not going to listen. They're not going to take heed. They're not going to take your advice. And so one of the things we want to be careful about, and I mentioned this with Sagittarius, I believe, we want to make sure um, that we, we want to be really aware of our audience, okay? And if reading, judging by body language and, you know, nonverbal cues, if the other person just doesn't want to hear it, don't waste your time, don't waste your breath, you might feel like you want them to steer them from some uh, misfortune by telling them you should do this. But, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do because it is their life. And so one thing you want to be very careful about is... Um, offering advice unsolicited because I feel like the other person just does is not ready to hear they're not in a point in their life where they're able to heed the warnings okay um, actually one last message going back to the relationship I feel like you have somebody that's coming and going coming and going in your life so I don't know if it's something circumstantial or if it's just their personality they're kind of unreliable I feel like it might be circumstantial because there seems to me to be some distance between you and them I see in particular a fire sign. So this is a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. This is somebody that uh, created, there, there is some, some um, harsh words thrown about between you and this person. Try to fix that, okay? Mend that relationship. Mend the, the don't leave things on bad terms under any circumstances. So just try to mend things, okay? I wish you the best. I'll be back for the uh, July reading. Take care.